Greetings. One of my YouTube subscribers, Mr. Ply Tiger, was asking whether or not a metal halide lamp ballast would run more efficiently on a 300 volt DC supply rather than a 240 volt AC supply. Well, the problem I have here is that this doesn't like running metal halide ballast, the electronic type, on its modified AC supply. It hates it, it shuts itself down within seconds. But it does seem to work if I have a resistive load such as one of those light bulbs in there as well. It seems to just about tolerate running the halide ballast. So the first thing I'm going to do is run with that. We'll monitor the current on the scope as well. The scope is set for 0 to 40 amps because it's tapped in on one of the resistor shunts there. So, first up. We have a 100 watt bulb on an AC supply. As you can see on the scope, you've got this horrible 100 hertz ripple. That's on the, that's the power draw by this. It's not the output, it's the input to this. That's how it's drawing power from that supply. On DC, as you can see if I compare before and after on the video, the light is a lot brighter and the power draw has gone up as well. It's now pulling 15 amps. So those are our base loads to consider when running this as well, because we'll have to subtract those from the scope readings afterwards. So let's now try it with the ballast and the bulb on AC. As you can see the Harvard ballast, it's having none of it. It hates this signal. It just does not want to start. So we'll try it again, but this time with a Tridonic ballast. This is a PCI 150 Pro. We have a very strange output on the scope. That's because what I've done is I've slowed the trace right down to see if there's any climb as the, as the lamp gets brighter to see if the, the, the current climbs any higher. You can see there's a lot of flicker on the bulb all of a sudden as well. You can see the current starting to climb as the lamp approaches full brightness. That seems to be about as bright as it'll go, and the inverter seems to be struggling a bit now. So I'll drop that. And I'll give the lamp an hour to cool down. Unfortunately, this power supply doesn't want to drive the inverter when it's driving that lamp and that power supply. It's drawing too much power. So for this test, we'll just see the ballast. No bulb. Power draw seems to have levelled off now at about 13 amps. And it's quite a smooth draw as well. You haven't got that nasty saw tooth wave. 
Here are the scope traces again, showing the current input of 13.8 volts. On the left we have the 100 watt incandescent light bulb running on the modified AC output. In the middle we have the 100 watt bulb plus the 150 watt metal halide on the modified AC output. And on the right we have the metal halide lamp running on the DC output. If we add lines to the traces indicating the average currents, you can see that the metal halide in both cases, whether AC or DC, pulls about 12 or 13 amps. Is there a benefit in running it on DC? Possibly in terms of wear and tear, especially with this awful inverter. But in terms of energy efficiency, probably not a lot. Unless that sawtooth waveform has an adverse effect on the battery or the power supply. So now you know. Thanks for watching.